Let's go back to the first alert forecast center where meteorologist Vanessa Alonzo is standing by. Vanessa. Hey there, Eric, and good morning to you. We are waking up to mostly clear skies, but some of you have been dealing with some patchy fog and low visibilities. So far, no signs of it on our Alpha Insurance SkyCam network. Now that the sun is rising, we're getting some daylight in downtown Columbus, downtown Tupelo, Louisville, Mississippi, and our Jordan's Pharmacy camera in Vernon, Alabama. Temperatures so far this morning in the middle to upper 40s to lower 50s out there. Even though we're going to get a northwest wind today at 5 to 10 miles per hour, I am still expecting those temperatures to climb up into the mid-70s thanks to the clear blue skies and the sunshine, which is going to help us get a little bit of some daytime heating and warm us up to 77 for a high today in Columbus, 78 in Tupelo. Now we have high pressure just to our south, and this is going to keep us dry and quiet at least through Wednesday. Now we do have a weak cold front that could skirt our far northern counties, but I'm not expecting much from this. It's this system that's getting its act together over the central plains. This is what's going to play a big role in our weather heading into late Wednesday and into Thursday. Our future cast is showing showers and thunderstorms firing up by 3 o'clock tomorrow over the far southern portions of Missouri into Arkansas. Louisiana, Texas, and Oklahoma. All of this activity will be heading in our direction, bringing us the potential for strong to severe storms to occur, unfortunately, during the overnight hours, Wednesday night into early Thursday morning before all the activity moves out of here, and we'll have quiet conditions by Thursday afternoon. We're still under a level one to level two threat of severe weather for late Wednesday night into early Thursday with hail, wind, Heavy rain being the main threats. However, an isolated tornado cannot be ruled out. We'll be watching this very closely, so keep it tuned to WCBI for the latest. And then we'll be watching another round late Friday into Saturday. Now here's Tom with sports.